Hello, hi, hi, hello, hey y'all. Y'all already know what it is, okay? We back with another reaction. Fall in love with me, I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde, she even clutch in me. I feel like it's do or die, she give her soul to me, she wanna be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gon' run my back, I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so I'm recording this video again because I have neighbors that don't respect my artistry, okay? And I had to go off last time. But if y'all hear some doors closing, some folks talking, I, I live in the ghetto. I can't control it, okay? I, I'm moving soon, okay? We claiming it. I'm moving soon. I'm going to get my room, my soundproof room for my YouTube channel. It's, it's happening. All that's happening. Okay, I'm claiming it. Yes, God. So we gonna get into a reaction. Uh, this reaction gonna piss you off. Huh? I'm giving you a warning. It's gonna piss you off because it pissed me off. Really bad. So therefore, I'm trying to control my anger. <laughs> I'm trying to control my anger. But it's hard. Because this shit right here, this what we not gonna do. Okay, so we're going to get into this. Uh, viewer discretion advised. They age restricted my last damn re reaction video over the airport fight. My page ain't marked for kids. And that is the same. You know what pissed me off though real quick, y'all? They age restricted my reaction video. But it didn't age restrict the actual video that I reacted to. You could pull that video up anywhere on YouTube. There is not a pop-up that tells you to confirm that you're 18. So it's okay for the news to post it, but it's not okay for me to post it. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. I understand. So I wouldn't be surprised if it happened with this one either, but I'm still going to react to it. It's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me because stuff got to be said and said got to be stuff. Yes, I just said that. Okay, so we're going to make sure we're recording. Lord, whew. Okay, help, help my peace. All right. Wait, John. Wait. Wait. Hey. Oh. Mm. Oh. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get Girl, rip the shirt off. Puss ass nigga. Puss ass nigga. Play with it. I'm on that shit. I'm on that shit. Let me pause and run it back. Let me pause and run it back. See, that's what we not gonna do. That's what we not gonna do. That's what we not gonna do. And she, and she, as she should have gave his ass And you still grabbing it. And you gonna fight with me? First you grab me. The girl would have ripped the shirt. I'm on that shit. I'm on that shit. That's right. See, that's me. That's me. like trailer park trash so let's get that part out of the way but at the end of the day you still as my good sister natalie would say got the complexion for the protection because this right here no we don't respond to that and the fact that the manager actually responded to it bitch excuse me so nothing in your mind said call the cops you really finna comply with this nigga you really finna do what he say Calm this nigga. Look at how calm everybody is. As if he did not just grab the shit out of her. No, you're finna go to jail. You have to try to get fired. I want that bitch fired. I was just asking you a fucking question. Bitch. And you still talking shit. You know what? Ain't no way. Ain't ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, ain't no way. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. ain't no way that could have been me. 
that that was so that, that was so disrespectful, <clears throat> unnecessary, and just out just outrageous. It's no way that could have been me. It's no fucking way. I would have jumped across that motherfucking counter so fast on his ass, it would have took everybody in the establishment, whether it was customers, workers, managers, people on the street, to get me off him. Y'all would have had to take him out on a stretcher. Y'all would have had to take him out on a stretcher. You not finna grab me. First of all, you don't put your hands on me. I don't like your tone. But the fact that you had the nerve to... No, sir. No, sir, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. It ain't no way. And all of that over a straw? A fucking straw? Nigga, is you serious right now? Baby, when I tell you, he'd have been laid out. He'd have been laid out. Because she handled her business. She handled her business. She, did, she was about that life for real. But ain't no way. I'm crazy in the head completely and the management sir why are you complying with him like why are you eat don't give him no refund if anything you need to be calling the cops that was assault what is wrong with you and i'm not for calling the cops but the cops should have been called nigga you are kicked the fuck out so get out before i have to drag you out or call the cops to get you out i'm not gonna give you no fucking refund you lucky if i don't give you a fucking concussion he shouldn't have handled that. That's not how you defuse a situation. I understand managers are taught to defuse situations, but at the same time, they are also taught to protect their employees or should be taught to because that couldn't happen in my establishment. Ain't, ain't no way. And the part that pisses me off even more is the fact that it was three black dudes and one black woman and ain't nobody jump in. So you mean... Let me run this back. So you mean to tell me y'all broke up the fight and one of the black dudes went around to the white, to the back of the white dude to pull him back. My nigga, that was your chance right there. You should have beat his ass. It ain't no way. It is two black men, two to three black men behind this motherfucking counter. And y'all going to sit here and let this white man put his hands on this black woman. Your fellow black woman, your fellow black sister, I don't care. Stranger or not, the streets I grew up in and the way I live my life, nigga, if you fighting, we fighting. Like with the black chick, the other one? No, sis, come on. What we do? What is we doing? I wouldn't even ask. I'd just start jumping in. Like at this point, everybody jumping this nigga. It ain't no way y'all literally sat there. And let him grab her like that and didn't get your lick in? I understand people want to stay out of shit. I get it. It ain't everybody thing. But that shit right there, no, that calls for ass whoopings and jumpings. Because that couldn't have been me. Especially on the internet. It, it's too many people riding for me. Y'all have found, y'all have... I gotta watch what I say because you know... Whatever you say can and will be used against you. But let's just say it would have been a search. Fucking with me. That's what I don't like. Black men. I understand you don't want to lose your job. I understand you don't want to get in trouble. But by all means, you have got to protect your black women. That shit was traumatizing. She literally did an interview after that. With her attorney, because she didn't want people to have this image of her that that's how she normally is. Which I understand, but then again, I wouldn't have done it because that's how I normally am. I would have sued the pants, the ass, and the balls off of McDonald's, that manager, that man. Baby, it would have been lawsuits everywhere. I want my money. I want my monies. Because had this been the other way around. And the man was black and the woman was white. You lucky if he even made it out of McDonald's. That's the fucked up part. And I guarantee you, if that customer was black and the girl was white, 
and the co-workers were white, they on his ass. Every white co-worker back there would have whooped that black man's ass had this situation been the other way around. I can't respect that. I cannot, I cannot respect that. It could not have been me. Because at this, you put your hands on a black woman next to me or a black man next to me, around me, in the vicinity, especially my co-worker, on some disrespectful shit? No, no, we not finna do that. And I'm in close proximity. Like, if, if this shit happened far away, like, say we in the airport, and that shit happened in that gate 15, and I'm at gate 5, and I see it, but I ain't gonna make it over there. Like, that's different. But you in close proximity. I said that in the Steelers game video about the black women that was standing next to the black man. You too close. You too, you too close. That My name Bennett and I am in it. Because that's you can't do that. That's just, I'm sorry. It could just be me, but that's how I was brought up. That's the code I live by. That's my mentality. Like, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Like, I understand you don't want to lose your job, but, sir, if they try to fire you for defending someone, especially defending a woman against a man, you need to sue, too. Self-defense. <laughs> like, I'm, t what? At least if you're going to go around the back of him and pull him back a little bit to try to break up the fight, you should have yanked that nigga just like he yanked her. You did it all soft and shit. No, no. I'd have had to, like, at least grab him and body slam him or some tad shirt. You got Come on, I need more than that. I'm choosing violence. We got to get into some gangster shit. That could not have been me. I would have whooped his ass and there would be people looking for him after that. We got to protect each other, especially from people like this. Because if you continue to let white people get away with shit like this or in general, they're going to keep doing it. If you don't stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. One thing about me, I'm not standing for that shit. I don't care if it's verbal, physical, emotional, mental. No. You come at me, I'm coming back. We can't keep doing this. We, we should not have to deal with this as black women. This is ridiculous. This is just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Baby, I'm going to so McDonald's owe me some reparations. I can't, they owe me some money after that. Mm-mm. No. Ain't no way. I done been through that type of trauma. I done been robbed at gunpoint twice. Once working at CVS. That shit is traumatic as hell. She probably ain't gonna be able to step foot in the, in the McDonald's, just like I couldn't step foot in the CVS for the longest. That pole baby, that's all right. She gonna be all right, and she gonna come out stronger than this. She she gonna come out with a look. And if his ass ain't in jail, he need to be. Grab my motherfucking shirt, bitch. Yank me. <laughs> and talk shit. <laughs> See, ain't it? Nobody back there would have been to hold me back. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to whoop y'all ass just to get to him. It ain't no way. You wouldn't have been able to hold me back. You wouldn't have been able to hold me back. Everybody in there getting fired. Nope. I don't agree. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. Feel how you feel. Everybody got their own opinion. But me personally, y'all know me. If you watch this channel, you know I don't agree with that bullshit at all. So that was my other reaction. It is a new day from the previous reaction. If you ain't watched that one, go back to the last video. That was a good reaction too. Again, if it's some noise in the background, I live in the ghetto. That's how we do. That's how we get down. But until the next video, I will see y'all later. Bye.